Hey guys, this is Grin, and this is EJ. Who's EJ? Uh, EJ, this guy. Hey, I'm EJ? Yeah, you're EJ. Oh, cool. Good to know. Hello, EJ. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I came all the way from Japan to visit EJ at his set, and uh, it's not set up yet, but uh, he's got a really nice uh, warehouse and a lot of space to get going. So he's going to get started, uh, what, this month or? Yeah, around this month. It's, um, you know, slow pro a process getting the right people on board to do construction, to design it, so on and so forth. But I am pleased to say that we do have uh, someone known as uh, Tiki Al. Um, Al, uh, see if I can pronounce his, his last name appropriately. Um, is it Karis, I believe, is the right, right way to pronounce it? Um, and who has worked on a ton of different stuff from Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Star Trek Voyager, and um, is currently working on uh, Miley, uh, Miley Cyrus's... And Nobility. Uh, and Nobility. <laughs> uh, current tour, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, for people who don't know, this is EJ. He's the CEO of Cowboy Errant, and his new project that he's working on right now is Nobility, Check it out on uh, the website is, no, go ahead. Yeah. Nobilitytheseries.com. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash nobilitytheseries or uh, youtube.com slash nobilitytheseries. So yeah, whatever medium you're looking for, Nobility the Series. Just type that in and uh, you'll find us. Fantastic. So I want to see what, God, you know, I, I came here from Japan with no real idea of what to expect. But uh, seeing the warehouse, it's, it's, it's got a lot of potential. I think you can really make a great set. I can't wait, I wish I, wish I could have come next month <laughs> to actually see you know, something built. But uh, you know, it is really cool to see this giant set that you've got in this, this place where you're gonna set it up. Thanks man, thanks. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been, um, a great adventure, the, this project. Um, you know, it started out as just some vague concept and, and you know, we figured it would it'd be just, you know, this thing that we did, just kind of a show what the company could do and, and what we could do. And and it's really blown up into something that, that we're really proud of. You know, we brought our uh, director, Neil Johnson, on board. And when he came on board is when I knew that this project would be um, more than just a, a um, you know, little web Band series. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, you know, we always wanted to to do the best we could and get the best quality. But when he came on board, um, that started enabling us to get you know celebrities like uh, Claudia Christian on board from Babylon Five, uh, Cass Anvar. Cass Anvar. Well, that interview I had with him, he's a <laughs> he's a character. Oh yeah. This guy, Cass Anvar, he played uh, uh, Dodie Fayette in the new Diana movie. And, uh, yeah, he's a good-looking guy, but he's also a real big nerd, and he's into, like, StarCraft. We haven't actually played that game I know, game we yet. need to play, the three of us, or four of us. It's yes. really difficult being in Japan, you know. Yeah, I know, the time differential, it's... it's did fun. you play Michael? I did, and I'm sorry to say he kicked my ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so you played Michael, what, 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 what race did you choose? Oh, Terran. Oh, Terran, always? Oh, oh yeah. What did, he, what did he choose? Uh, uh, I think he did, yeah, he did Terran as well, Terran and well. he got me, um, I saw that he was teching up, you know, really quickly, and so I just went all bio, like, you know, Marines and, and low-level units trying to, to mass him, and, you know, we, we kind of had this detente going where he would come at me with, like, a bunch of battle cruisers, and then I'd hit him with a bunch of low-level flying units, and, and that would wipe all his, you know, his battle cruisers out, and so I thought I was winning, and then he started nuking the crap out of me. <laughs> and, you know, if you're good, it's a good way to deal with if you have a lot of units like that and you can't otherwise compete. And um, I thought I was close enough to the edge, you know, or to, to pushing him over the edge and beating him, uh, that I could just, you know, kill him. And so I didn't react to the nukes because I thought he had like one or two and then I just, and you know, just and then that was coming. it. <laughs> and I just kept coming, nukes after nukes after nukes. And, you know, once he started nuking my base. <laughs> so you hear it here. So Michael, Michael, <laughs> Michael from Save Sci-Fi looked EJ's butt at StarCraft. But next time, Michael, calm down. <laughs> That's a good challenge. We we'll have to <laughs> oh, do all three of us, right? It'll oh, be man. it'll be you and Michael against me. <laughs> 
and then I'll just randomly betray him. Like, I don't think you can do that, sucker. I wish you could just betray your allies. I'm just on the train. Actually, I think you can. You can set that up. Yeah. You can set that up. You can have a, what is it, uh, allied victory off. I like it. So like that when once you've won, you can just keep going <laughs> until the other one. It's like goes. risk, you know? Yeah. It's like no matter what alliance is, you get, you know eventually they're going to turn on you. So you can see we're pretty big nerds here, and we love space stuff, we love uh, science fiction, and Nobility is the science fiction show that we're going to see soon from this new uh, set. It's, uh, it's under construction. Under construction. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Stay tuned, and we will uh, we'll try to hook up again sometime oh, yeah. afterwards. Oh yeah, definitely. Just something like that. We'll see more of the set if we can or something. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Thanks, guys. See ya. Later.